welcome to today's vlog. Um, I've, con I've cheated a bit today because I've looked at the times of um, people who've already solved it and the first time I recognise that I think is a bona fide time is um, Jason James who's solved today's puzzle in about four minutes. So I'm hoping it's relatively straightforward and we can do one of these puzzles where I'm going to sort of solve it real time and ask you to pause once I've explained how the clue should be read and we'll see how we get on. So without further ado, where is it? Times. Okay, so. Um, okay. What's being done? Uh, what's done about faulty bomb being discharged? Okay, so the words faulty bomb there are very suggestive that we need to anagram the letters of bomb inside a four letter word for something that's done and that's a relatively common word to come across in crosswords you know for a general action um, and the whole thing means um, uh, discharged and so pause this is demobbed and the sense of discharge from the army Okay, so let's look at one down now with that starting D. Absolutely unresponsive group. Okay, so this one means absolutely, and then the rest of it is uh, an expression for those who may be unre unresponsive. So it's sort of, um, there's not many other ways of explaining what we need to do here. Um, so pause. The answer is dead set. Okay, let's have a look at the two down. Police force clued up confiscating 50 items from copper. Okay. Okay, so the starting M is very helpful here because I think uh, in terms of police forces you need to be thinking about a three letter um, uh, common abbreviation for the for police force um, and then a word for clued up, a five letter word for clued up. Confiscating 50 means we need to put the word for clued up around the edges of the Roman numeral L for 50. And items from copper is a very nice definition in the context, you know, because we've already had the use of police force here. So, um, you know, your copper here is, is meant to make you think it's talking about a policeman. It's not. It's talking about the, the element. So pause the video. The answer is metalware. Good clue. Uh, OK, read down. Prostrate supports. Um, okay, so this means supports, um, and the the whole clue. If if you are prostrate, uh, it's a description of how you might be lying, I suppose. Um, so pause. If you're prostrate, your backs up. Okay, receiving a hint the day before one's pulled out. Okay, um, so here we've got a very useful phrase in the middle of the clue there, the day before. Well, the day before anything is, is the eve, so we need to use that somehow, and it, um, it looks like we need to put eve around the edge of A, plus a three letter word for a hint and the whole thing means one's pulled out so pause the video oops excuse my inability to type Evacuee. okay let's have a look at eight across imperious military commander stopped by traitor Tailing car. 
<laughs> okay, so this is one of these innumerable uh, military abbreviations that, that you just have to, you know, eventually learn when you're in crosswords. This one, military commander, is slightly annoying in the sense that whenever I see military commander in a crossword clue, I always think of Arga, A-G-A. -A. Um, now this one, I think, is though referring to commander-in-chief, C-I-C. Um, which is relatively uncommon actually. Uh, so, so the way this one breaks down is we're looking for a word for imperious. That's the definition. Then we've got a four letter word for a car. Uh, and then the military commander which I've just given you is surrounding a three letter word for a traitor. So pause the video. There we go. Oh. Autocratic. Okay, ten across, very unusual start. Um, bull in Paris say destroyed site of ancient monument. Okay, um, so this is fairly straightforward. This one, we need the name of an ancient. Well, we need the name of the site of an ancient monument, um, and it is an anagram of bull in Paris say. Pause the video. And hopefully some of you will be familiar with where Stonehenge is. Um, and let's have a look at 11 across. So squash enough and to spare beside drained tumbler. Okay. So here, I mean, I hope from all of the um, work we've been doing thus far, you'll be familiar with things like drained tumbler is such an unnatural phrase that it must be wordplay um, and what it's getting at is that we need to drain the, the innards of the word tumbler so we don't we discard those and we're left with a tr um, so we need tr and then we need to add to that a five letter word that means um, enough and to spare and then the whole thing means squash. So pause. And there we go, trample. So we've now done the whole of the top left relatively quickly. So let's, let's keep going. Um, rogue artist's name ultimately forgotten. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is a six letter word for a rogue. Um, artist is an incredibly common abbreviation that's needed in crosswords. Um, RA. Um, so uh, that's for a member of the Royal Academy. Um, and here, the S that you see at the end of artist, apostrophe S, that S is also being used in the wordplay. So we need to we need to have the abbreviation RA plus S and then we need a four letter word for name without the end and pause Rascal. okay let's have a look at this note your comments on it and you may well eat your words okay well um, I can see what that is I think it's just um, the whole thing is sort of a pun. Um, so pause the video. The you answer know, is rice paper in the sense that I suppose if you were to write anything, I but this is basically getting at the fact that rice paper is edible. There may be something cleverer there, but I, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Um, let's have a look at six down. A proofing agent works though not initially under water. Okay, yeah, so this is the name of a proofing agent, um, seven letters. And then we need a word for works in the sense of a factory. Um, and we need to remove the top of that word, the first letter. And we need to put that under a three letter word for water. Um, so pause. 
hopefully some of you will have spotted the possibility for sealants, which is C and then a plant without the opening P. Let's have a look at nine across. Cautious, wife having retreated, tipsy, okay, yep. Yeah. So this is a four letter word that means tipsy. And the way that we're gonna, the word play works is that we also need a four letter word that means cautious. And we're going to move the letter W in that word, which is W as you know from all the earlier videos is an abbreviation for wife. And we're going to move that back in the word. So pause, and the answer is awry. Okay, so we're doing making good progress. Seven down. Gunmen returning to scene of shooting set out. Okay, yes, so here again we've got yet another of our army references. Um, and we need the one we need this time is um, RA uh, for Royal Artillery. Uh, so we need to reverse the RA for AR and then add a five letter word for a scene of shooting. And the whole thing means set out. So pause, arrange. Okay. Uh, golfers last to start show no fluency. Okay, so again, a fairly straightforward clue here. Um, this, so the definition is show no fluency. Then we need a word for for golfers, where we're going to put the last letter to the start. And I suppose one of the, th the things that's nice about this clue is because it's the plural, um, we could very confidently guess that the last letter is going to be an S. So we need to put the S to the start. So we actually would, would get this configuration of letters, which, which ought to be very helpful. Um, so pause the video. Something I'm very bad at is putting, um, but it's helpful in this context. So, okay, let's have a look at this. Flirtatious and is male. 6-3. Okay, well, hopefully you've all watched the lengthy video we did a few days ago on uh, so-called and-lit clues. Clues where the whole clue acts does two things. It acts as a definition, but it also acts as wordplay. Well, that is what this clue is. Uh, very good. It's a very good example. So um, the word flirtatious here is being used as an anagram indicator in the wordplay. So we need an anagram of and is male. And the whole thing uh, is what you might see as a, <laughs> a definition in a dictionary of the answer. So Someone who is flirtatious and is male. Pause. The answer is ladies' man. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stop there because uh, we want to keep these videos, um, you know, I say not not desperately long each day. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, I definitely recommend those of you who've worked through this this far to continue with this puzzle. Uh, I think it's a nice standard for people who are less experienced at times crosswords. It's quite accessible. Haven't seen anything monstrous in the wordplay yet. Um, just some of these very common abbreviations that crop up all the time. And the only way really of learning those is to, is to practice. So good luck. Let us know how you go. And we'll be back soon with another vlog.